फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द अनदर वीडियो ऑफ नियरस अकेडमी सो फ्रेंड्स देर इज अ क्वेश्चन इन माई माइंड सो वेन एवर द ऑल द एयरप्लेन्स द हॉट एयर बलून्स द हेलीकॉप्टर्स वेन इट गेट्स आउट ऑफ फ्यूअल इट स्टार्ट्स ट्रैवलिंग बैक टूवर्ड्स द अर्थ इट स्टार्ट्स फॉलिंग इन टू अर्थ जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द ग्रेविटेशनल पुल अट्रैक्ट्स ऑल ऑफ दोज ऑब्जेक्ट्स टूवर्ड्स द अर्थ सर्फिस एनी ऑब्जेक्ट ग्रेविटेशन विल बी ऑलवेज देयर like all the celestial bodies such as all the stars all the planets they have their own gravitational field like earth is having its own gravitational field sun is having its own gravity moon is having its own gravity but friends uh, like why this uh, like moon is not falling into earth why all of those satellites which is revolving around the earth why they do not fall into earth why earth is not falling into sun so all of these questions are there in my mind and in this particular video we are going to uncover the answer of this all of these questions so friends if you are new over here on my channel ingenious academy kindly subscribe and please watch this video till the end so let's begin suppose you are over here on earth at a certain point and you throws an object okay in a horizontal direction with a certain magnitude and the object is again gaining a certain velocity so after throwing after covering a certain distance the object will fall into earth again the gravitational pull attracts that object into its core suppose if we increase the magnitude if we increase the force okay so later the object will travel more distance and it will then again fall into the earth's surface suppose if the magnitude the force that we are throwing will be on a such a higher side in such a way that if we throws that particular object that object will revolve and will complete an orbit around the earth then at that particular point object will complete an orbit around the earth and gravity is not affecting at that point at that magnitude it means the force at which we throwing the object is equals to the gravity and during that interval that object completes an orbit around the earth and that object is to be set in a velocity which is known as the orbital velocity now the object has attained that orbital velocity which surpasses the force of gravity and now the it uh, nullifies the gravity and that object which is revolving around the earth it is to be set in a orbital velocity so when an object achieves the orbital velocity the gravitational pull won't affect any more so this is exact same scenario happens in the case of the satellites which are revolving to the earth's surface earth revolving around the sun at the speed of 30 kilometers per second which is very massive now this speed is nothing but the orbital velocity of the earth moving around the sun the sun is moving around the milky way galaxy at the speed of 230 kilometers per second and moon is revolving around the earth at the speed of 1 kilometer per second so friends this is nothing but the orbital velocity so when an object achieves the orbital velocity the force of gravity will become nullified so the force of gravity won't affect that object which is there in the orbital velocity 
So in order to understand that, let's say like this, all the satellites revolving around the Earth, it is very much similar to this particular image you can see. Now over here in this image, you can easily say this uh, the force which is acting on that ball is nothing but the centripetal force and we can calculate the force it is equals to the m v square divided by r m is the mass of object v is the velocity and r is the radius means the distance between that object and the center point the same formula we can apply while calculating the orbital velocity of the satellite so over here the satellite is at the certain altitude above the earth surface that becomes the r plus h that distance so r plus h over here m is the mass of the satellite r plus h is the distance and the v naught square it is the velocity orbital velocity of that satellite so over here the force is equals to m v naught square divided by r plus h so this is the formula we can use to calculate the orbital velocity or else the force required the centripetal force but friends this centripetal force is equals to the force of gravity which is acting on that particular satellite. So over here the force of gravity acting on a satellite we can calculate by using the formula GMM divided by R plus H whole bracket square. So over here G is the force of the gravity, M is the mass of the earth and small m is the mass of the satellite divided by the r is the radius of the earth and h is the distance that is the altitude above the earth's surface that is the satellite placed so by using this particular formula we can calculate the force that is the centripetal force and the force of the gravity which is acting on the satellites so these are the same and just because the satellite is moving at this orbital velocity it doesn't fall into earth so friends this is nothing but the orbital velocity now friends there are more than 11,000 satellites which are orbiting around the earth so there are the different 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 orbits around the earth each satellite it's placed into different orbit the international space station which is above the earth surface that is at an altitude of 600 kilometers it is revolving around the earth at the speed of 28,000 kilometers per hour that is equals to 466 kilometers per minute and around 7.76 kilometers per second so if we compare all the statistics with respect to the f1 racing car which is moving around 300 kilometers per hour 5 kilometers per minute and 0 0.08 kilometers per second so if we we can understand the difference like how fast the international space station is moving it is revolving around the earth but friends if we increase the distance that is the distance of the satellite the altitude if we increase the altitude suppose my satellite is placed into geostationary orbit which is about 36,000 kilometers away from Earth's surface. At that particular point, the speed of the satellite would be less than that of the satellite which is very much near to the Earth. So over here, the speed of the satellite in the geostationary orbit, it would be around 11,000 kilometers per hour, which is less. Earlier, in case of the International Space Station, it was around 28,000 kilometers per hour and now it is only 11,000 kilometers per hour. So over here, the distance is also uh, plays an important role in the orbital velocity. So friends, overall, the orbital velocity, it is the speed at which an object completes an orbit around a celestial body that can be a planet or a star. 
so friends this is all about the orbital velocity if you having any queries any doubts please leave a comment and please do subscribe to my educational channel genius academy thank you so much this is narendra buktar signing off